Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, January 25th, 2021. Free pick coming up in the NBA. Going to get to that in just a moment. First quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get yourself set up for a free $60 account. And then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster at DocSports.com. All right, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, a combined 8 and 4. 67% winners. High-end plays went 2-1 and one as we were able to cash on Saturday in college basketball uh, on Sunday with the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA. Unfortunately, what kept it from a great weekend was losing my top play in the NFL. Uh, but we end up 8-4 and four for the weekend. And again, 2-1 and one with those high-end plays. College basketball still going strong. 3-0 sweep on Saturday with that six-star play also with the Baylor Bears. And in the NBA, uh, we are perfect for the weekend, Friday through Sunday. And I'm going to talk about the NBA because last night, again, we cashed the top play with the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, we come back on Monday, and I've got a seven-star play. My first of the season in the NBA goes on Monday. So you can grab that on my homepage over at DocSports.com. And again, we've been uh, kicking it into gear here with the NBA, the perfect sweep Friday through Sunday. Basketball overall, college and NBA combined since Friday through Sunday, 7-1, and 88%. So let's keep it going on Monday's card. A lot more to talk about in the NFL over the next couple of weeks as we get ready for the Super Bowl and who could ask for anything more as far as a fan of the league not necessarily talking about from a betting perspective because a lot of us had one of the two games wrong uh, I did have the free play winner here with Kansas City which was nice uh, but again being able to see Brady against Mahomes is going to be terrific and we hope that uh, guys like Fisher get back on the offensive line uh, right now it doesn't look too great but uh, we'll see what the update is on Monday but anyway, uh, as we look at this right now, KC Open, basically three and a half everywhere that posted a first number in that game. Uh, and then, of course, it came down. It came down to three as underdog money started coming in. However, I say underdog money, but it was respected money that was coming in on Tampa Bay at first on Sunday night because a good majority of the tickets and the overall money were on Kansas City minus the points, yet that number came down from three and a half to three. And you know what that means? That means that uh, there are certain folks who draw the bookmaker's attention a little bit more who are plunking their money down on the underdog Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And of course, we'll update that throughout the next two weeks and talk about where the money is, where the public is, where the sharp, respected money is, all that good stuff. But uh, anyway, that's where it is right now, Super Bowl 55. And I'm looking at all of the books on my uh, screen in front of me about 16 books right now and it's a pretty solid three some minus juice out there on some of them and uh, the total sitting at 56 and a half couple of places open at 57 and it came down from there so anyway on Monday again listen we only have one video for Monday it's going to be this NBA video that I'm going to give you because I just don't like the college basketball card I don't have any premium plays in college baskets I don't have a free play in college baskets just one of those days and we've had very few I think I've passed maybe three days this entire college basketball season so it's all about that seven star in the nba for me on monday over at docsports.com you can check that out and grab my nba play on my handicappers homepage on the site let's get to our free play uh, for monday's card and we're going to look at the battle between uh, charlotte and orlando that's the first game on the board and right now a few of the books only a few books i should say have the number up but it's orlando lane two at home to charlotte and when you look at what happened last night i think you're going to see uh, a charlotte hornets team uh, that is going to be in a little bit of trouble here. If you saw last night's game, by the way, I'm punching up more lines to see how many books we got out of it right now. It's just a couple of books, like three books that have it at two. Uh, but anyway... Orlando had a big lead over Charlotte last night. I don't know if you guys happened to see the game, but they were up 12 at the end of three. They held a 14-point lead at one point of the third quarter. They go into the fourth quarter up 12, looking pretty darn good. And then all of a sudden, Charlotte opens the fourth quarter on a 25-4 run. Gordon Hayward scores 13 of his 39 in the final quarter and they go on to get the win they outscored orlando by a 33 to 18 margin in the fourth to go on to win that game 107 104 and i do expect to see orlando coming back in this one and again laying a couple of points here i think they'll get right back on track i mean charlotte one of the things they did that allowed them to be able to come back is during that four game losing streak before winning last night they were just turning the basketball over way too much they cut it down last night they only had 12 turnovers in the game they had a plus four 
turnover ratio in the contest. Uh, but tonight, I expect to see a little bit of a reversal here. I like Orlando to get the job done, again, uh, as a short favorite over the Charlotte Hornets. That's your free play for Monday. And again, don't forget, seven-star play in the NBA. First one of the season, and we're red hot in the NBA. Grab that first one of the season, if you wish, on my homepage at DocSports.com. Uh, we're going to have football videos, basketball videos, both college and pro, starting tomorrow throughout the next couple of weeks. We'll be talking props, all that good stuff. Uh, for the Super Bowl, so be sure to check that out. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. We had a free play sweep this weekend. Let's get it done again on Monday with that free play on Orlando. I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put him in the win column on Monday.